Okay, so we are uh, talking about regular expression. So today we will discuss this theorem, uh, Arden theorem, which is uh, which will give us a uh, solution for equation in regular expression. Okay, so before that, let us just recap the properties of the regular expression. Or we say this; these are the identities which we have already discussed. Identities. Of regular expression, this we are going to use to prove the uh, Arden theorem. So, uh, let R and S be two regular expressions, which is coming from some language or R and S with corresponding to some language. Then we know this properties like uh, phi plus R is R phi R is equal to R phi is equal to phi epsilon R is equal to r epsilon is equal to r. They are equal in the sense that they are corresponding to the same language. Then we have uh, epsilon star is equal to epsilon, but phi star is equal to epsilon. Okay. And for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 is R plus R is R. Then R star, R star, these are the identity we are going to use for this uh, to prove the theorem which we are going to discuss. Now, next property is uh, R R they are commutative R R star equal to R star R. Now R star star is equal to R star. Okay. So R star star is equal to R star. Next one is say epsilon plus r r star is equal to r star, which is same as epsilon plus r star r. This will use directly. Now, how to prove this? To prove this, we can take this, uh, this is informally r plus r r star. So, this is nothing but R star is meaning is what R star means R then epsilon plus R plus R square dot 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 and so on. So, this is nothing but epsilon plus R plus R square plus R cube and so on. So, this is nothing but R star I, this is informally because this is an infinite series. So, unless the convergence we, we show uh, we, we assume this we cannot write like this, but we can prove it more formally like this uh, say uh, we want to prove this equal to this that means, this is in language two sets are same. So, this will say this is say uh, r 1 and this is r 2 we have to show r 1 equal to r 2. So, for that what we need to show? we need to show the language of R 1 equal to language of R 2. So, how to show this? We have to show this is subset of this and this is subset of this. Okay. Then, we can say that these two sets are same. Okay. Anyway, so this result we are going to, we will be using in the in this lecture. So, another property is uh, R 
is star r which is same as r s r star this also we can prove another property is r plus s star this is same as r star a star star which is same as r star plus a star star ok and the next property is the associativity i sorry distributed law r plus s into t yeah, concurring it with t is nothing but r t plus s t and this is uh, right distributed we can have left distributed property. So, these are the properties we have few of them we have already seen. Now, we are going to use this property to prove the uh, Adam theorem. So, what is Adam theorem? So, it is related to a uh, equation in the regular expression. So, suppose let R and S uh, be two regular expressions in sigma. Suppose sigma is the input alphabet over sigma and if R does not contain epsilon. does not contain epsilon, then only we can apply this. Then the following equation then the following equation in x x equal to s plus x r this is equation where x is a regular expression r and s are the regular expression and r does not contain epsilon. So, this equation has a solution unique solution. So, that is the theorem has a unique solution and that solution is given by x equal to s r star x equal to s r star. So, this is the equation in terms of x where x is a variable which is a regular expression x equal to s plus uh, x r and if r does not contain any epsilon then this equation has a unique solution. So, we have to this theorem is called Arden theorem. So, this we have to prove it and we will after proving this we will have some application on this to get a given a DFA how we can get a regular expression. Okay. So, let us try to prove it. So, first of all we need to show the existence of the solutions then we can show the uniqueness first we will show the solution exist. So, this is the rough idea of the proof. Okay, so, what is the expression? The equation is x equal to s plus x r. Okay. Now, we are claiming that this is the solution x equal to r star. So, we will put this in here right hand side of 1. So, x plus s r star r. Okay. So, this will take it in bracket. So, now we can take S common, this will be epsilon plus R star R. Now, just now we have seen the identity, this is nothing but R star. So, this is S R star, which is nothing but X. That means, this is a solution this satisfy the equation satisfy the equation 
1. That means this is a solution. Now we need to show the uniqueness. This is the only solutions. Okay, so to show this, we need to. Uh, so let us write the equation again. So x equal to s plus x r. So now this x in the right hand side we again replace by s plus x r. So this will be uh, s plus x r into r. So this is nothing but s plus this is the distributed law plus x r square. Now again this x will replace by s plus x r. So s plus x r plus s plus x r then r square. So this uh, again we can write s plus x r plus s r square plus x r cube. So, if you continue like this, we will be getting this in the form of s plus x r plus dot 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 plus s r to the power i plus x r to the power i plus 1 and this i can be any value greater than 1. Okay. So, if i can be any value. Okay, now, so, uh, so now what we have? So, we have two equation this is one and another one is this one from the given this we have this another equation x equal to this one s we can take s common epsilon plus r plus r square r to the power i plus x r to the power i plus 1. This we name the equation number 2. This is coming from here. Okay. Now, we want uh, now our claim is uh, any. So, this is our claim. Claim is any solution of 1 is equivalent to s r star. Any solution 1 is equivalent to s r star. So, how to uh, how to prove this? To prove this suppose uh, x satisfy x satisfies 1. This implies x satisfies 2 So, x satisfies 2 that means, we, we can we take a w from x with the length of w is i. So, then x satisfies 2 means the r does not contain epsilon. So, w will not be here. So, w must come from here. So, w must belongs to the language of this regular expression epsilon plus r plus r to the power i. Okay. So, that means, uh, w is w belongs to s r star. So, that means, x is a subset of s r star. Now, the other way around we have to prove x r star is a subset of uh, x r star is a subset of x that also we can prove similar way. This is our equation number 2 conversely suppose w belongs to s r star that means w will be of the form like this epsilon plus r r to the power k for some k that means it is coming from here. So, that this this implies 
W belongs to X. Okay, which is the uh, uh, solution of the equation one. So that means S R star is a subset of W X, and we have seen X is a subset. That means these two are same. X equal to S R star. So this is the uniqueness proof. This is the rough idea of the proof. Okay, so this is called Arden theorem. So now using this, we'll uh, we have some applications to get the regular expression of the DFA. So we'll see that how we can get the regular expression of a DFA. Application of Okay. Now, suppose we have given a DFA for example, this one q 1 and there is a condition this DFA should not contain any epsilon move and there is only one starting state that is always there for our so far for our automata. Okay. So, this is going to A going to A, this is B, this is B, this is A, this is A. Suppose this is a given DFA and it is not having any epsilon move. So, addons can be applied if there is no epsilon move. We will we'll, we'll write the general form, but let us uh, explain this through an example. Okay, so, there is no epsilon move and also only one initial state, this is the starting state or initial state, only one initial state. So, we can apply uh, addons. So, we can have equations in the regular expression. Uh, so, we can have the corresponding equations for the three vertices. First, let us uh, take this vertex. So, suppose the variable we take q 1. So, q 1 will be written as. So, q 1 is coming from q 1 by a plus there is a move from q 2 to uh, q 2 to q 1. So, q 2 b plus epsilon because q 1 is the starting state and with the epsilon we can be at q 1. So, this is equation 1. And Q2, this is we take this Q2, uh, we are trying to get the regular expression for 3 vertices, 3 uh, nodes or 3 states. So, for Q2, so Q2 we have a move from Q1 to Q2, so Q1A and Q2B plus Q3. A, this is equation 2. And with Q3, we have uh, Q3, we are going only from Q2. So, Q2 A, this is equation 3. So, from these three equations, we have to solve, you, and we will repeatedly apply the that theorem, Adam theorem, and we will we will get the final regular expression for the uh, final state. There is only one final state Q t. So, if you get some regular expression for Q 3, that is the answer. That is the regular expression corresponding to this language. Okay, so, how to solve this? So, this is the uh, equations. So, uh, so, we can just uh, equation 1 and 3. So, we can just replace this here. So, we got q 2 is equal to q 1 a plus q 2 b plus q 3 a, q 3 is nothing but q 2. So, q 2 a a, this is by uh, equation 1 and 2. So, we can write the equation here. 
we can rewrite the equation in a smaller form q1 q1 a plus q2 b plus epsilon this is 1 and q2 is nothing but q1 a plus q2 b plus q3 a this is 2 and q3 is nothing but this is 3 a ok. Now, from 2 and 3 we get this Two and three, what we got? We got Q two is equal to Q one A plus Q two B plus Q two A A. Okay, so these are all regular expression. So this we can write as Q one A plus we can take common Q two B plus A A. Now we want to apply the Hardin's theorem. So, for that we need to identify x equal to uh, x plus x r. So, this is our x, q 2 is unknown. So, if you take this is our s and this is our r. So, this is nothing but the, uh, so this is x, this is x, x equal to x plus s plus x r. So, if we apply add-ons, then it is nothing but uh, x equal to x r star. So, if we apply that it will be q 1 a which is s then r star r star is b plus a a star. Okay. So, this is by applying the Hadoff theorem. So, we got another equation which is basically q 2 is equal to q 1 a b plus a a star. So, this we refer as equation number 4, this we refer as equation number 4. Now, we can plug 1 and 4 yeah we can just use from 1 and 4 what we have? So, q 1 is equal to q 1 a and this q 2 we can replace. How we can replace q 2? q 2 we can just replace by uh, this q 1 a b plus a, a star and then we have a b and we have epsilon over here. Now, this we can write as epsilon we can bring here plus q 1 we can take common then a plus a into b plus a star into b. Now, this is also in the form of Adams theorem. So, because this is x x this is our s this is x this whole thing is our r and r does not contain epsilon. Okay. So, that is one condition for the addon. So, if we apply this again, uh, so this is, uh, uh, so this will give us x is equal to s r star. So, q 1 will be uh, s then r star, r star means this star. So, a plus a into b plus a, a star b So, this is same as a plus a b plus a a star b star. Now, if you simplify this, we will be getting this. Uh, yeah, so, this is equation 5, we can say we can simplify, but later on we can see because what we are looking for? We are looking for the regular expression corresponding to q 3. Okay and even we can get the regular expression for all of this by this is the regular expression for q 1. Similarly, once we get this, uh, so we already got the regular expression for uh, q 2, because we have the regular expression for q 1, so we can replace that and we get the regular expression for q 2, but we need the regular expression for q 3. So, for that, 
So, what is q, let me just write this the regular expression for q 2 we just put this over there and we got a plus a b uh, b plus a, a star b star and then we have a b plus a, a star b sorry not b a b plus a, a star. So, this is for q 2. Now, once we got q 2 we can get we can get q 3 from here. We are looking for q 3 regular expression for q 3 because q 3 is the corresponding to the uh, final state. So, q 3 is nothing but q 2 a. So, q 2 is this one. So, a plus a b plus a a star b star a b plus a star then a. So, this is the regular expression we are looking for this one. This is the regular expression corresponding to that DFA. So, th this is the application of the Adams uh, theorem. So, we can generate this is through an example we can generalize that ok. So, uh, so, we need to have the following assumption. So, there should not be any epsilon move, no epsilon move and only one starting state, starting state. Then what we can do? We can write the uh, regular expression for each of the states like this. Say v 1. So, suppose you have a state q 1, q 2, q n. Suppose there are n state. Okay. Then we can write this as the regular expression uh, v 1 is corresponding to the regular expression q 1. So, v 1 alpha 1 1. What is alpha 1 1? Alpha 1 1 is the uh, alpha i j. I will write that. So, v 2 alpha 1 2 sorry alpha 2 1 plus v n alpha n 1 plus epsilon. Then v 2 is equal to v 1 alpha 1 2 plus if there is no move. So, this is the alpha this is the alpha i j alpha i j is the regular expression from v i to q i to q j if there is a I mean alpha i j is the like this we will write and then by the addons we, we will try to solve these equations. There are n equations and we will keep on applying the addons theorem to solve these equations. Thank you.